Commission Washington bill uh, today, Tuesday, August 16th. Regular meeting. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. Once again, good evening, everyone. Uh, if you need an agenda, they're on the table uh, just next to the map. That's on the wall. I have a few announcements. Uh, we urge all residents of the Village of Washington Bill to contact the Village Hall with any questions you may have with the Village. A lot of people are being fed misinformation by a few individuals. This information is causing a lot of anxiety to many of those individuals. We need to lower the temperature within the village and work with everyone that is involved. The boards, meaning the village planning and zoning uh, boards, are all residents of the village. Ask the questions that you may have. Listen to the answer. I've been asked, why can't we just say no? Because by law, you just can't say no. Strange how people who just want everyone to say no know better than that. The law has to play out. I'm asking everyone to please let the system work. I mean we have full confidence in all the board and the board members. We are currently in a water restriction. We are asking that you do not water lawns, driveway, and use water unnecessarily. Please use a watering can when watering flowers and plants. Ahern, Ahern Boulevard is still closed. The village board has been in touch with the engineers. Uh, it's not a good situation down there. The entrance to uh, 94, even though it fits into the, the state um, guidelines, all right, it's, it's, not a, it's not a good situation, like I said. There's going to be a disaster down there uh, between buses turning on to Ahern coming down, heading into the village from Salisbury Mills. Tonight, the Village Board of Trustees has have decided not to discuss the Kazaza Farm that was discussed in our last work session. We decided to wait until the schools are back in session and we will schedule the use of auditorium space in either the middle or high school. You will be notified uh, as soon as we are able to set up those meetings. We look to schedule the same spaces for both the Village Planning Board and the Village Zoning Board of Appeals when needed. To get the record straight, the 23 South, South Street, that's the Kazaza Farm, is currently zoned RA. That's residential and agricultural. There's a large piece of this parcel zone BG, business, commercial, and wholesale uses. It's not just agricultural, another misleading post. Anybody else have? Um, I'd like to move ahead with uh, new business, promotion of police officer Thomas Santasuaso. Uh, Thomas is presently a um, detective. We'd like to promote him into sergeant. Motion made by Trustee Kabor. Second by, by Deputy Mayor Ladaba. Roll call, Trustee Kalor? Yes. Trustee Sampson? Yes. Trustee Kolar? Yes. Deputy Mayor Ladado? Yes. Mayor Bucko? Yes. Uh, 4B, new application for public assembly. Deputy Mayor Ladado? I have the, I sent the board um, a new application for public assembly permit condensing a form that we have been using, which is three pages down to two, um, and dealing with the public and setting up events. I realized there's a lot of information that was on a car the current forms that we use that are really not applicable to our events. Um, and if you guys could review it, the new form, I sent it to everybody by email. And I did mention, I don't have it on the form currently, but something else. We have two forms. We have a public assembly permit and a facility re request form. 
one is generally used for, I would say, events with 50 or less people, and one is for 50 or more. Um, so it's something I can include on there. So if someone's filling out a form, if they come in, they know which form to fill out. But the staff would know as well. So if you guys want to review it, you might have to do it now, but just something for the future. It will be uh, able to be filled out on Yes, and also Larissa brought up the fees that we'd like to tie that all into this. We could finalize this hopefully within the next month. Yeah, one stop shop. And come up with, yeah. Okay, 4C, New Monument at Memorial Park. Uh, several years ago, actually two years ago, uh, we were approached by Fireman's Committee at Memorial Park to erect another monument uh, in front of one of the berms that are presently there. It's for the um, people who have passed away after 9-11, okay, that got sick during um, that horrible time that this country went through. Uh, they started uh, excavating I believe it was last week, we put a stop to it because the board needs to approve it. Uh, building inspector needs to be aware of it. The village will be taken out of commit for it because it is a village park. Uh, one thing that, that we were kind of upset with, I know I was, that they uh, hired a mason. We don't, um, we don't know if they're insured, but we will be getting an insurance form from them. They were starting, they started to dig without what's called a dig number, that's the 811 that everyone has to call prior to digging. Um, really, there could have been a water main break under there. There wasn't. There could have been electrical or gas line under there. There wasn't. Okay, needless to say, uh, everything has to be followed, uh, even on the, the village level. So, that being said, um, it's black onyx, the same, same material that's currently there. It's approximately four feet wide and five feet tall. And like I said, the names of the police, the firemen, uh, I believe it was determined to be within the school district. So it's reaching out to a lot of um, outside the village. Uh, their names will be um, added to this Monument. I don't know if it's going to be etched into it or if it's going to be a placard that's going to be part of it. Um, I know that they like to have everything and it's ready to go. I some place in Chester were told that they'll be um, installing it soon. They like to have it up and running by uh, the 9/11. Okay. So, um, the motion <coughs> to allow firemen's uh, the Memorial Park, Ahern in Washington, to have another monument erected for people who have passed away since the 9-11 uh, attack. Motion made by Trustee Kolar. Second by Deputy Mayor Roll call, Trustee Kolar. Just a quick question before you vote. Just to follow, so they have to have everything in place first. Though. Everything's in place. There is a, uh, a footing that was poured. Uh, the building inspector will go out, make sure that it is the right size for what's needed, so we know that we're in good shape as, as it's erected and everyone walks away and we're held with the kind of have part that's safe. Trustee Sampson? Yes. Trustee Kohler? Yes. Deputy Mayor Dotto? Yes. Okay. Washington Bill After Dark. Deputy Mayor Dotto? I'm sorry. <laughs> when we get to After Dark, I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, give a break for <laughs> Washington Bill After Dark. <laughs> and there you have it. <laughs> and now 
Don Gorin. Okay. <laughs> this was just tabled from our last meeting because we were waiting for the Certificate of Liability Insurance from Guilty Pleasures Chief Leagues to hold Richingtonville after dark on October 15th from 3 to 10 p.m., which is, um, it would be in front of the stores at McLaughlin Square. They submitted the Certificate of Insurance, which expires on March 15th of next year. So I'm asking for the board's vote on this. Sorry, one other question. Sure. I noticed online that they're having a fundraiser for it. So if they don't raise the funds, it's still going to occur. Can you talk louder, please? Can you hear it? My question was, I saw online that they're raising, I think, $6,000 approximately for this event. And I know the village is not sponsoring it. My question is, will the event still occur if they don't raise the $6,000? I don't know. I could find out. I mean, I don't know. You don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're not putting money into it. It's a right. private event. Right. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There are a lot of activities that are planned for Witches in the After Dark. So over at, um, uh, what is that, E.J. McLaughlin Commons, they're going to have a stilt, uh, stilt walker, uh, juggler, and then they're going to have a DJ. There's a lot of plans. Uh, I'm going to give it all away. But it's going to be a lot of activities. And a drive-in movie is planned for is there be a Jack Lassner. Well, we'll wait. Okay. Um, and then a drive-in movie at, um, I don't know if you've ever heard of this movie. It's called Killer. Clowns from outer space. <laughs> so, yeah. They'll be selling tickets next week. <laughs> <laughs> and that's going to be right outside of uh, like where La Villa is at Fulton Square. So it's going to be all throughout. And the, and the goal is to draw some attention to the center of the village for businesses. So if you have anybody who's interested in sponsoring, uh, Patrick from Guilty Pleasures is posted. It's going to be. And it's geared for the older kids because y'all know we have a lot of stuff for the little ones. And a lot of the like you know middle schoolers, high schoolers, just they're like bored. They want some activities. So this is their uh, Pat and Justine saying, let's let's do something for the bigger kids, right. or for like the moms like me who love shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that. <laughs> and for the older kids, we have what we have now. <laughs> <laughs> See, we got you out of the house. Uh, Rich, I, I don't know. If that's a good question. Uh, we could approve it based on. Well, I need to hold it up again because, you know, it's fine. Uh, so, would that be... Yeah, we could vote on it. Do you want to take it? Yeah, we could vote on it. Yeah. I just want to show the yeah. village yeah. that's going to put out the $6,000. No. 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 Yeah. no. Yeah. And, and we've never asked, so it's going to be... Trustee Kalor. Second. Trustee Kalor. Samson, second. Roll call. Trustee Sampson? Yes. Trustee Kolar? Yes. Deputy Mayor Lodato? Yes. And Mayor Pucco? Yes. You'll contact them tomorrow <coughs> to see? Uh, sure. I'll ask Rich's question and... Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, moving along, 4E, <coughs> Chamber of Commerce, color right. We were holding off on this from the last meeting, and since then the date has changed because they don't have the supplies for it. It was September 18th. The new date is April 23rd of next year. Um, this is for the color run through the village. I believe they spoke to the police department. Yes, okay. Um, and I've received the insurance form since then. The insurance expires on the day change. November 25th, they're aware that they will need to submit another form so we could vote pending that. Since this, I don't want to table it for the second time. But, okay. We can vote. Right. I mean, I have the current, but of course, yeah. these events now are after. Motion. So moved. Trustee Kalor, second. I'll second. And Trustee Sampson. Roll call, Trustee Kalor. Yes. Trustee Sampson. Yes. Trustee Kalor. Yes. Deputy Mayor Dotto. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, and the same for the Christmas parade. 
we were waiting on the insurance, which again is to be pending the updated insurance plan that I will receive that week, probably even the week before. Have they discussed the Christmas parade route with we have a meeting set for the end of August, I think I've just written them in there Do we have a date? Or Saturday, December August. Yeah, December 3rd. Which part of the joint issue? The, the, the usual route. Okay. Yes. I'll make a motion. Second. Second. Roll call Trustee Floor. Yes. Trustee Sampson. Yes. Trustee Kolar. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Now, one thing that we need to add on all of this, the color run, the Christmas parade, uh, as well as the um, Richington Bill at the dog, or Washington Bill at the dog, is to bring in other first responders, uh, ambulance, and fire. Okay. Before uh, you go to the next one, could I just bring up the Washington High School swim and dive team? Sure. They had to cancel the last time, the rain date um, didn't work. So now they're asking for September 4th, which is a Sunday. And I did warn that the water restrictions, I'm sorry, we canceled this their rain date because of the water restrictions. <coughs> yes. Sorry, I just jumped right into that. Um, so now they're asking for September 4th. It's a Sunday from 10 to 2 at Memorial Park. I said I would ask. I don't know how you guys feel about it. Yeah. Right. Still, it will be in water restrictions. Okay. Okay, uh, hiring of part-time police officer Nick J. Giacomis. Trustee Kalor? Yes. Trustee Sampson? Yes. Trustee Kalor? Yes. Yes. Okay. Also in your packet is a display of banner at Blackman Square. It is for um, Back to School, September 10th, 2022. At Elvern Allen Park from the hours of 10 to 3, where people could drop off back to school supplies for the students of our, um, of our school district. I believe what's going to happen, if, if I remember correctly, it's going to be all, everything is going to be submitted to the building principal who would then therefore distribute to the students within their school. Um, so they're looking for any great appropriate school item that will be accepted as a donation, any quantity. Please indicate contribution grades, elementary, middle school, or high school. Um, put up a banner next to, I guess, Washington Village, Washingtonville, stands behind Ukraine. Do you know the size of the banner? I do not. I think the band is inside. Um, the banner is going to go on the block. Yes. <coughs> the only concern I would have is that people would think to bring the materials to the block, even though it says in small print, Bell Burn and Allen, Fair Mallet Park. I sure have to get word out. Yeah. And it's only going to be displayed um, no later than September 11th. You mentioned the raffles and so on? Yeah.
earlier, uh, so move on for page. As I mentioned earlier, the Village Board has decided to postpone any discussion regarding 23 South Street until a larger venue can be used. We are looking into either the Washingtonville Central School District Middle School or High School, but cannot do so until school opens. We thank you and appreciate your understanding with this. With that, we'd like to uh, open up public uh, Yes, public comment of the agenda items, and then we'll do public comment on non-agenda non items. Public comments not to exceed three minutes per person. Please sign one of the uh, forms over there for public comment on agenda items and non-public on uh, public comment on non-agenda items. We ask that you speak. You, you can come up here. We'll give you a microphone so everyone or tell us, it will tell everyone. Um, right, somebody told me, you never give up the mic, the microphone because things can get ugly. Um, I don't know if that's what you said. You said people start to sing and things like that. So that could be ugly. The reason why um, I have the mic is I'm a karaoke queen. I'm always tempted. <laughs> there you have it. So, uh, public comment on agenda items. Do you want to circulate the uh, clipboard in case anybody? Yellow highlighted, I believe, is agenda items, and then there's an orange highlighted for non agenda. If you don't start filling out your name, I'm going to start singing. No. <laughs> so we have to wait for our names on the list? You really don't want her to sing. I don't think she heard me. Really so, we can keep bouncing back and forth yeah. just to keep everything going. So, um, public comment on non agenda items. So, for agenda items, the water restriction. Yes. Leaving work at 5 o'clock in the morning without fail, the sprinklers are on at Chase yep. and at the other bank. Uh, thank you. Yep. Is there, I mean, my grass is. Yeah, as dead as could be, I think they need to be held to the same standards <laughs> and, and that the residents are too. Thank you. I don't know what else you can find on the I can't come back. I like, don't use you. <laughs> so you ask me to do something on you? I'm like, no. <laughs> Jason, and what did you say? Yeah, well, I saw a long ago on this one. It was definitely wet. I didn't see the sprinklers going. It was wet. Well, it's green. Yeah. yeah, it's one way of telling if they're using the sprinklers. It's green. The, the grass is green, so they can't say it's not us. Exactly. Um, okay. Thank you very much. Not agenda items, or agenda items. Along those same lines, um, I was on 94 going towards the light the other day, the other night, and somebody had a uh, fire ring going, and they had a fire going. So I think that's kind of dangerous to be able to allow open fires right now, especially when everything is dry. Yeah. If you could just uh, name, please. I'm sorry. Oh, Patrice. Patrice. Address? Seven Puritan. And your name? Margaret Stack, 78 Becker. Thank you. Oh, the less dangerous. 
Um, Susan Walski, 24 South Street, and we cannot have karaoke till we have that Mac Cheese Bake Off, girlfriend. <laughs> it's on, that's me. <laughs> um, in regards to what she said with the fire, same thing by me, I had a neighbor who had a burn going, and I'm like, girl, you gotta put that out. <laughs> It would also be nice, while the creek is low right now, to have a cleanup of the creek bed since it is walkable. I'm sure some people saw on here my Facebook post of the garbage I found by my house down there. Number two is we created that rental registry, I want to say March, April this year. I'm told by the building department there's nothing on it yet. I did email over a list of units that have come on the market. Another one came on today as a rental, and we still do not have that registry in place. Please, come on. I mean, we're getting more and more investors in here to buy property that do not live locally that, have, that can't maintain it. 30 South Street is back on the market for rent. God bless who's ever got 3100 bucks a month to rent that sucker. <laughs> yeah, I, know. I did get your first uh, email. Okay, I'm just saying I, I've had no response from the building department, and that's not right. We create laws for preservation. Let's use them. Thank you. Uh, Tom DeFanco, 7 Maple. The tractor trailers that were coming in and out of the plant taking water, I'm assuming, what were they, uh, what's their chargeable rate and what are, what's the total that they pay when they pick up? That was uh, Spindler Bulk you're referring to? Uh, I did see Spindler Bulk. I did thought at one point I saw another trucking company in there. Um, I guess, you know, part of it is that obviously our rates have been raised to units now and the uh, capital fund has increased as well. So in light of that, just curious of what they're paying for a load of 7,000 gallons of water. Okay. I don't have that exact number, Tom. Uh, I know Town of Blooming Grove took some water also. Right. Um, I could... I heard that the other day. I could get that information for you. Uh, it's it's more than um, we're not losing money with it. It stopped two weeks ago, from what I understand. Okay. Um, you know, as as long as we're on the water, we are doing testing in three wells right now, and hopefully uh, three wells that can be used for emergency only. So hopefully that will get all three wells uh, online. We probably will not. raise the restriction. I think we need to keep the restriction where it is. Uh, but if the water um, department says to us that we're very good with the wells, then of course we will raise it. Um, I don't want to raise it and say no, you know, go back and forth. So um, we do have three wells, like I said, that are being, they will all be tested by the end of the week. Hopefully we could get them online in the beginning of next week when the results come back. One thing I don't understand is that you can use wells in an emergency, but you can't use that same well in a non-emergency. I don't get that, but um, that's county government. So, thank you. What's the, uh, what's the location of the well? We have two in um, uh, Oral Chemical right now, we purchased the Spindler, uh, Spindler Wells, not the one that was on our system, uh, the non-potable, which would be made potable, okay, and the other one is at uh, Memorial Park. That one is iffy, that's probably the last of the, if we had to put one, two, and three, that would be number three. Okay. And last question, you opening comment about, maybe I misheard it, but you said something that the it's zoned RA, but it's zoned BG. Yes, the um, the solar uh, farm is BG. The buildings that are there are BG. Buildings are where? In on that same on the same plot that that border to a way. Right up to the doctor's office and the. Uh, 
uh, going on the car, car, the car place. That buy level is at the top of the hill. It, it might it might go all the way down to where Spears Lumber used to be. Okay. All right. So so we have residential agricultural. When were the public hearings to change the RA to EG for the solar farm? Yeah. Because I lived there and I never got notification. We had three years ago, four years ago. Yeah, I would have had a certified letter. This to change the zone? I think it was always PG. Mm -hmm. What zone was it? The whole RA, the whole parcel, 88 acres. Mm -hmm. If that's because it cause as it has the solar, and he also is doing that project on top of the hill, but that's part of the 88 um, acres, and that was going to be kind of one of the questions at the end of the day, because if this guy proposing to put a bus garage in there, he's looking at possibly 10 at the end of the day for phase two, which will leave you 66. And then the question I was thinking about is the solar farm and then that electrical uh, distribution, whatever, he's, whatever they're doing on top of the hill. So, but I don't ever recall seeing any type of uh, lot line changes or anything to that effect. So I would assume it's still in an RA situation. Oh, they did have to make Yeah, you would have been. You should have been contacted. They can't be done without that. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Getting, Getting to the. We will be looking into that. Um, as far as the, the bus without putting the cart before the horse, uh, it's 10 total for them. It's not 10 the first phase and then 10 the second phase. It's 10 total. Okay. And what he came across is down to like 10 was phase one yeah. and then an additional uh, 10. I'll go back and listen to it, but that's kind of what it sounded like. So we were thinking point at the end of the day. Uh, that's a whole different yeah, I mean, picture now. If that's, if that's actually if that's the actual picture. Yes. Yeah. Verify the minutes. It's just under 10.2. Yes, it's 9.2. I rounded it up to 10. I must have missed something earlier when you were saying something about uh, 20 to the south street, uh, the discussion on that. Uh, is, is, that the, uh, is that the farm? Yes. It is. And, and I think you were saying that that is going to be held in another building at another time uh, to have a larger, yes. accommodate a larger turnout? Yes. And then when is that expected? Uh, as soon as the schools are open, then we could look into the dates that we want. Uh, it would be a, a special meeting. Okay, that we would have to set up. So it's going to be in September. Our next scheduled meeting for the village board is September 6th, right? It's the Tuesday after Labor Day. Um, and that would be 